a Washington-based think tank releases photos that show continued Chinese reclamation activities in the South China Sea after mid-2015, refuting claims by Manila and Beijing. The Asia Maritime Transparency Initiative releases the images Wednesday as an update to a previous report. The AMTI photos dated August 5 show that Beijing continues to reclaim land farther north of the South China Sea in the Paracel Islands. The area is claimed not by the Philippines but by Vietnam. The photos are released days after Philippine Foreign Secretary Alan Cayetano and Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi said China stopped its reclamation activities in 2015. Cayetano made this claim Tuesday when he justified the Philippines' initial draft of the recently issued ASEAN Minister's Statement. The ASEAN Statement noted criticisms of land reclamation activities in the South China Sea, but Cayetano initially wanted to exclude these from the joint communique. It's not reflective of their present position. Well, they're not uh, reclaiming land anymore. So why will you put it again uh, this year? But AMTI cites China's reclamation work on Tree Island and North Island in the Paracels. AMTI says, quote, In August 2015, two months after Wang Yi claims all Chinese reclamation ended, there was only a small amount of newly created land on the western end of Tree Island. China has since dredged a new harbor and added about 25 acres of additional land to the island. <music> President Rodrigo Duterte slams European Parliament members who visited Senator Laila de Lima in jail. Duterte says, quote, Imagine she even convinces EU fools. Then they come here to declare, can she be house arrested because she is a prisoner of conscience? Son of a bitch, how stupid. The Philippine president was referring to the 12-member delegation of the European Parliament, which spoke with the Lima last July. Duterte takes issue with the supposed call of the EU delegation to treat the Lima as a prisoner of conscience or someone imprisoned for holding political or religious views not tolerated by their own government. He says, quote, don't you know what kind of woman she is? Then they come here and say she's a prisoner of conscience, my God. He then talks about the Lima's love affair with her driver, Ronnie Dayan, by recalling their supposed sex video. Duterte himself publicized the Lima's love affair and how she supposedly used Dayan to make money from the illegal drug trade inside the New Belibid prison. The president's accusation spurred Congress hearings and a Justice Department probe, which eventually led to the Lima's arrest and detention. <laughs> North Korea on Thursday says United States President Donald Trump is bereft of reason and will only respond to force. This after Trump threatened North Korea with fire and fury like the world has never seen earlier this week. Pyongyang says it is working on a plan to simultaneously fire four ballistic missiles in an enveloping fire around Guam, a key U.S. military stronghold. The Western Pacific Island is home to U.S. strategic assets, including long-range bombers and military jets and submarines. Pyongyang says it would complete in mid-August a plan for the attack, which would involve four rockets flying over Japan. <music>